Hey you guys, it's Rosetta from Rosetta Grows and we are here today outside. I'm hiding from people who are inside. We are in the middle of this crazy pandemic so I'm gonna film the best I can with lots of people and the dog and all kinds of craziness. There's helicopters, I don't know what's happening. It's crazy. I hope you'll bear with me as we do a really fun plant chore today. And do you know that the easiest plant chore that I've never done is planting bulbs. I think I must be, you know, just more of an instant gratification kind of gal. I like to see what I'm getting. I like to have a head start on some major growth, but I'm really excited about this bulb and I will show you in a minute. But I do have to give myself some credit because I do a lot of other kind of plant projects and I'm gonna be doing a whole lot more now that we're in this kind of self-isolating or quarantine situation and it's springtime. I mean, what a better time to like get planting and get some projects recorded for you guys to kind of follow along with me and maybe get some tips. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe below and hit the bell. That way you're notified and you will follow along and check out what I'm doing here at Rosetta Gross. So what kind of bulb am I planting? I'll show you. I didn't even realize I could plant these. I mean, I knew this, but I didn't really know this. Anyways, dun, da, da, da. that's my sound effect. I'm really, really excited for this elephant ear. I have never been able to purchase these in person. I've seen a couple and they've been way out of my price range. But what is really cool about elephant ears is they're extraordinarily fast growers. So this bulb I'm going to plant and I imagine this says it, it could get up to 60 inches. That's really friggin' big. And that's in one season. So you guys, this is gonna grow really big really soon. And do you know that these things are super spendy when you buy them at the store? A, 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 a plant that has maybe three or four or five months growth in it, they're very expensive. And I could grow one from a bulb for like $16 you're new to bulbs like me, maybe that blows your mind. It probably doesn't blow your mind if you've been doing bulbs for a long time. This is a great idea. It's so much more cost efficient and I'm kind of excited to see it sprouting out of the, out of the ground and growing. So I'm really excited about this bulb and I'm gonna walk you through the steps, super easy, let's go. Another really awesome thing about bulbs right now is that you can definitely order them. So this isn't something that you have to go to a plant shop to get. This company is called Dig Drop Done, which is so cute. Digdropdone.com. I've never purchased any of their products before, but I'm really excited about this one. It's so simple, you can just order this. So again, you don't have to go to the store, order it online. Obviously, I'm just really excited about bulbs right now. I think it's just <laughs> so new for me. Is it new for you? Have you grown things from bulbs and what have you grown? I mean, I, I've heard people doing like daffodils and kind of that traditional thing, but what else have you grown? Have you grown any tropical plants from their bulbs or from their tubers? What have you grown? I would love to know and I would love to do more probably next year, but hook me up. What are you growing? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so as you can see, I have this enormous pot. I mean, it's, it's a big one. I don't know this many inches. I'm not good at <laughs> estimating. So I got this big pot and the reason why I wanted a big one is because I have heard and I've experienced with some of my other elephant ears that the larger the pot, the larger the plant can become up to its like, you know, natural size. So they do like to have some room. Now I have a terracotta pot. This is not actually ideal for this situation. The terracotta does absorb some water and these types of plants the colocasia and the alocasia are thirsty plants and they do like a lot of water. I have planted my other elephant ears in plastic which helps retain the moisture a little bit more. I just didn't have a plastic pot on hand so I'm going to use terracotta. I'm just going to have to be a little bit more aware of my soil and making sure that it does stay hydrated. These plants like to stay, uh, stay a little bit damp. They like to dry out just a little bit on top and then water again thoroughly. So again, with the terracotta, I'm just gonna have to stay on top of it a little bit more. Okay, so I'm opening the package. It's, this is so easy, it's blowing my mind. Okay, wow, 
this is really cool. So check out, this is this is the bulb. This is the, the root. And is it catching it? All right, let's go like that. There we go. Um, you can see it has, you know, some old kind of roots. And then it has some new growth there and there. Oh, and actually it has even more. Let's see, it has growth here and here, here, here. Here. Now the packaging said blunt side down. That didn't <laughs> really help me. But what did help me is I see this growth coming up out. I see this growth coming up the, out this way, up out that way. So that is helping me to determine that this must be the blunt side. It says to dig a hole a little bit deeper than the bulb itself. I'm just gonna use it to kind of press it in and dig. Now it says just to cover it with just one inch of soil. And so that's really easy to do. I guess we're just gonna cover it. Um, cover it with one inch. I will let you know, I just used regular potting mix in the bag. I didn't amend it at all. I did not add extra drainage because again, these kind of plants do like to stay a little bit moist for a little bit longer. So I didn't need extra drainage and uh, it's just your uh, average like miracle Grow potting soil. So that's what I used for this. <laughs> In theory, we are done. <laughs> We're done. Um, that's pretty easy. You just give it a little water and let it grow. I am going to put some kind of plant on top. Uh, when I pot up my plants, I like to have what's called a filler, a spiller, and a thriller. I like to have, you know, the main event, which is the thriller, which is going to be this beautiful, dark, dark elephant ear. It's gonna be a stunner. And then the filler kind of fills up the rest of the pot. And then obviously a spiller would spill over. And I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to use yet. Maybe I'll show you, should I show you some options? I'll show you my options. Obviously, since we're in the middle of this COVID-19 and I, we're self-isolating, I have to choose stuff that I have around here. None are like super ideal, but they could work. So first, please don't sweep over here. <laughs> so first we have this sedum and I don't even really know um, what this one's called. So if you do, let me know in the comments below. It's super cute. So obviously that could be really cute. I have I have a lot of this actually. I was gonna put it somewhere else in the yard, but this could be cute. This is going to get part sun, like morning sun, and then shade for the rest of the day, which the elephant ear is gonna love, and uh, the, the things that I'm showing you will tolerate that. So I could do those. That's the sedum. The next thing that I could do is I could take this. I got this. Ooh, huge Swedish ivy. This is a different Swedish ivy than I had before, but I could propagate this directly into here. So that, you know, it would be pretty nice spilling over. I think that that is probably my, maybe my best option, but I don't know. I'd love to know your thoughts. Also, I have this plant, which is a Tradescantia nanook. You see that there. Um, obviously really, really beautiful. And I think that that could be really interesting underneath the beautiful elephant ear. It would propagate and do really nicely there. So, but it is kind of like a lot of purple, so I don't know. And then the last thing I have, oh, which I'm also kind of leaning towards this is, is Vinca, which I had so much Vinca growing up, um, on the hillside in my yard. Um, I love it. The beautiful purple flowers. It kind of goes like the dark, dark color of the elephant ear with the green I think is just like a really nice combo so I don't know tell me what you think what should I do I'm not gonna plant today because I do need to think about it but I'd love to know your comments and let me know what you're thinking and I can't wait to show you what I choose so let me know tell me what I should do all right guys that's it so easy Ooh, light is changing on me. Obviously, I'm gonna keep you posted. I will let you know how this grows and what is going on with my beautiful elephant ear. I'm super excited. 
and I am going to be watering it. This potting mixture does have some fertilization in it, so I'm just gonna chill with the fertilization. I'm gonna put it in its spot, and I'm gonna let it rock and roll. I'm gonna choose a beautiful cover, and I might even wait just a minute while the bulb does its thing so I can see where it's coming through. I don't want anything too aggressive to grow over the top of it, so I can't really see what's happening. But that's it, so easy. Where have bulbs been my entire life? I know, they've been at the store, they've been around. I just, I'm getting, I'm getting it now, you guys. I'm figuring it out. Um, let me know, let me know what bulbs you're planting right now. Let me know what you think about my, my filler and spiller. What should I be using? If you haven't watched these videos, they're super helpful tips on just keeping your plants alive and some basics. You definitely wanna check those out as you're starting your spring plans and your gardening plans. Thanks for watching, you guys. As always, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.